What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, back to another video. And in today's video, we are finally at a track day. I've been trying to go to the track for so, so, so long. A lot of you guys have been telling me to go to the track. And uh, yeah, today is the big day. We are at Thunder Hill Raceway, uh, first time ever. And uh, we got the F80 M3. I wanted to bring the E36 M3, but I just don't think it's ready yet. And then we got Blake, obviously. He's gonna be my, my dad for today. And he's gonna be showing me everything uh, on the course. So I got my boy Blake. What up, guys? Bro? What up? We got Nora's helmet getting set up so we can give you that <laughs> premium footage. I brought a head mount, guys, and I forgot we're actually wearing a helmet. So shout out to Blake. He got the, the mount for the helmet as well. So we're good to go on that. And uh, yeah, is it good? So this thing got super wide. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's got the, the super wide. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, guys, we got our helmet set up. I'm super excited about that. I actually have a front toe hook uh, set up as well. So we're going to actually mount this as well. And I think I actually have like a dash uh, mount as well. So we'll try to get everything situated for you guys. You can get all perspectives. The goal for today is to honestly just see like how how good I can honestly handle this car and just see how the car is without a tune. I want to bring this back with a tune and see what the difference is. I want to bring it back with the wing, see what the difference is. I want to bring it back with the upgraded tire as well and see the difference so today it's kind of like it was a simple bolt-on and uh, we do have the bolt-on Pumberger tuning so that's pretty awesome and then other than that I mean everything else is pretty much stock so hopefully today is gonna be a good day we do have some pretty much new tires on the car so should be fun so unfortunately the tow hook is actually for an E92 but we did actually get our uh, dash mount there uh, again shout out to Blake we actually now have a head mount as well so we should have at least two perspectives I really wanted the front mount but it is what it is All right, guys, we got my sock on. I'm like straight neon up in here. We got the helmet, which is pretty awesome. We got the tow hook right there. And then we also got our numbers. So, um, yeah, we got our numbers on there. We're number 22. I think that's pretty awesome. We got the GoPro as well. We are good to go. Blake is number 37. It is looking too good, guys. lap we're all gonna be pretty much cruising together this is a really clean e36 m3 it's a green one with the modena interior as well very clean car uh but yeah uh we're gonna be heading out as a group of cars it's our, it's our first lap since i'm a beginner and they're basically just gonna show us the entire track we're gonna go kind of slow and just get used to the track and then once we actually get used to the track lap two and lap three um we're gonna actually be able to uh have a ton of fun which i'm super excited about so uh yeah let's just see how it goes guys Guys, this is the first time that we're actually gonna be going pretty quickly. I'm behind a Porsche and behind me, I believe I have a Mitsubishi. So hopefully everything goes pretty good. I am very stressed out, guys. I'm not gonna lie. For the first time, it is fun, but I am so stressed out. I'm sorry if I'm also muffled. I'm also inside my helmet. I don't know if you guys can see me, but uh, yeah. Anyway, it was else. Wish me luck, guys. I'm really stressed out in this car. I was honestly supposed to be bringing the E36 M3, but at the same time, I did get this thing track ready. So I am ready for this car. <laughs> guys
guys, they have tires over here for $10 a pop. <laughs> These are like slicks, aren't they? So that's crazy. We got four tires for me. Um, and then Nick's over here getting some tires for himself. Jonathan got some tires. I mean, 10 bucks a pop, guys. That's a score. Bro, <laughs> bro, this alone pays for the whole, the whole like, dude, I got four tires for 40 bucks, dude. I gotta pay for them first, but hold up. <laughs> guys, the drift track here, too. Oh, this place is lit. What's going on, bro? You having fun? <laughs> let's get back. We have to head to the track, guys. My last session right now, so let's get it. Good. Uh, I'm a beginner. I'm just. Do I go with an instructor or on my own? Uh, you feel comfortable, comfortable to be on your own? Yeah. Oh, you're good. Okay. Cool. This is my first time on my own. I got my boy Nick in front of me as well in the 135. So we ended up trading cars pretty much because I got the F80 M3 from him and he got my 135. So we're hitting them both on the track right now. Wish us luck. I'm really stressed out. Hopefully everything is good to go. Hopefully everything is great in the Navy. I think I know the track now, but uh, yeah, better safe than sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I don't go full, full throttle, but I'm gonna have some fun. And uh, hopefully <laughs> we go today with a banger. Not in a bad way. No bangers in a bad way. Please, God. Hey, I'm going to keep up with you, bro. And guys, 
this is the next morning. Yesterday was absolutely insane. It was an absolute blast, but I'm not gonna lie. That was probably the most stressful day of my life, mainly because I don't really drive that recklessly. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't really drive recklessly on public roads. You guys know me. I don't even make videos on me driving recklessly on public roads unless I find like some kind of mountain or something and I can just have some fun. But otherwise, um, I just take safety very, very, very seriously. And at the same time, that F80 M3 for me is everything. Like it's it's something that if accidentally somebody hits it on the track or accidentally if I spin out and I just go over something and all the airbags deploy or whatever, it just really really stressed me out because um, on the track, if you guys don't know, your insurance doesn't cover your car. So anything that happens on the track is on the track. If somebody else hits your car, even if it's not your fault, somebody else hits your car, they're not liable to pay for your car. They can just be, you know, like whatever. It is what it is. It's the track. It's part of the game. You pay to play. So uh, it's a little stressful, especially taking that car again, because that is everything. That's like my everything. So I can't wait to get the E36 M3 ready uh, for the track. I actually got some seats over here. Uh, that's a little teaser, but I I got some pretty awesome seats for the E36 M3, two of them. I'm still trying to save up for the harnesses. I'm still trying to get some other things. I think I need some harnesses, some seat rails, and some other things. But the E36 M3 will definitely be my primary track car. But I'm not going to lie, guys. The track is actually a lot of fun. It's actually very addicting as well. I'm just going to put it out there for those of you guys who are new to the track stuff. Just know your car is not going to be insured once you hit the track. There is track insurance. Um, I pay like four or $500 a month for all my cars to be insured on public roads. The track insurance is like $400 a day for one car. So um, it is a lot of money and uh, I already spent over, I think like $200 for the event itself. So it's, it adds up really quick. Like this is a very expensive hobby and I want to try it. But uh, at the same time, you know, probably next time if I want to take the F80, I should probably save up more money and do it kind of like with a peace of mind because again, the entire time I was more stressed than having fun, unfortunately. Um, but uh, it is what it is. You know, I booked this event like three months in advance or whatever. So um, I was trying to get the E36 ready in time but unfortunately you guys saw the clutch fluid leak and I don't want to risk anything but yeah guys it was an absolute blast nonetheless that I absolutely love the F80 performed so 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 well like the temperatures didn't even go over 50% like even on my E90 if I'm going like full throttle or something um, that thing it was over 50% easily but this car literally stayed below like the, 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 the like the 40 or 50% mark the entire time on the track when I was literally third gear redlining it so that was absolutely insane the car handled really 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 well the brakes handled well the only thing I want to do next time is probably get stickier tires if anything because uh, I think if I had stickier tires I would have took the corners a lot more with confidence um, but other than that guys if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash like button if you guys want me to do more videos like this especially with the E36 M3 make sure to smash that like button I feel like I go more ham and be way more comfortable with the E36 M3 because parts on that is way cheaper and uh, yeah <laughs> without further ado guys I hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving break if you guys are excited to see F80 content and you guys are excited to see uh, what is it 335 IS content coming up make sure to smash that like button. The F80 is getting a brand new dashboard, an extended leather, which looks super nice. The red extended leather dashboard with heads up display and all those. So we're actually a couple retrofits at the same time. And then the 335S, we got so many new parts to restore that thing, which I am so excited about. I literally ordered all the little details. So this thing will look absolutely perfect by the time it's done. So again, smash that like button if you guys want to see that. So without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.